guys want to be tortured like rats? Not your business. Brother's not me. I want them for it. He can't get away with it. Who's he think he is? Well, what are we going to do? Take over this boat. But the cat and the crow, they're ducks, boys. With guns in their ribs, they're our boys. Personally, I don't need any weapons. I got it. The doc's got some knives in his operating room. No, uh, knives. What we need is guns. And we're going to get them. The doc's got guns in his cabin. So is the mate. We'll wait until everybody's asleep. Take the doc's quarters first. There'll be only three in there. It'll be a cinch. Gonna take them bye-bye? What do you think? Shall I give the alarm? No, we'll handle this. Once we get that far, the rest will be a pushover. Who is it? Dr. Sander. Hi, Doc. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Hi, Doc. Just talking about you. Yes, I heard you. Oh. When I planned this voyage, I took every necessary precaution. Dictaphone, huh? Correct. Right. You men are acting very foolishly. Why? Because we aren't going to let you make better men out of us? You have no choice in the matter. Doc, you're coming here to solve our problem. Yes. Yeah. We're going to make a better man out of you, Doctor. I got it. The Doc's going to get the gun. If he don't, we'll operate. <laughs> yeah. My life means nothing, gentlemen, until I can finish my work. And that I intend to do. <laughs> Listen to the guy. <laughs> I think they've learned the lesson. You might untie me. Better lock them up. That won't do any good. You said it. We ain't through yet. You're wrong, Ritter. You are through. Uh, Ezra, I'd like to see you in my office for an examination. Don't want me. me. Oh, come now. There's nothing to be frightened about. Come on. You ain't going to let him, Maya. There's nothing to be frightened about. You ain't about. going to let him. No. Good night, gentlemen. I wish you a good night's rest. And please remember that wherever you are on the ship, your whereabouts are known. What did you do with those policies? I tell you, I didn't have them. They were in the office when the police came in. You were the only one there. I didn't take them. I should have known better than to hire a stupid little fool for a secretary. You gave them to the police. I tell you, I didn't. Sit down. You thought you'd save your own neck by turning over the evidence, didn't you? Secretary. 
I believe she was in a legitimate insurance business. Oh, it's all so terrible. You must believe me. You do, don't you? is here to see you. He says it's very important. Sir, prepare another Lenadan solution. Yes, Doctor. You and Paul stay with the patient. Don't leave him for a moment. Anything else, Doctor? His condition's not at all favorable. Not the reaction I'd hoped for. Remember, don't leave him. Yes, Doctor. Well, Bob, what's on your mind? It's about the girl, Joan. Yes, I noticed that you were attracted to her. She's in danger. Hmm. Aren't you big and strong enough to protect her? This is serious. Mary tried to kill her. Come sit down. Tell me all about it. Oh, there's not much to tell. Mary believed that Joan turned over to the police some incriminating papers. The point is, Joan had nothing to do with that poison ring. She's innocent. You mean she told you she's innocent? I know she is. Yes, I can understand your believing it. Especially when the subject is young and beautiful. You must have a talk with her. I have talked with her. And with Mary, too. But if it will make you feel any better, I'll talk with them again. Where are they? Well, Joan's on deck. Mary is in her state home, I guess. Let's see Mary first. Come in. If you hear about that little double-crosser, you can save your breath. Was Joan involved with you in the poison ring? She helped break jail with me, didn't she, before the trial? That wouldn't mean that she's guilty. Well, I ought to know. She was my partner, helped me plan the whole thing. Don't let that little doll face fool you. I tell you, she's not a criminal. We'll prove that beyond the shadow of a doubt. By my treatments. Treatments? Not on Joan. yourself in and don't open the door for anyone. I'll bring you food. This is your stateroom? Yes. But I don't know. Now do as I say, Joan. Something's happened. I can't tell you now. Good night and don't worry. cruise to nowhere. Yeah, I thought the same thing. You been following the sea long? Oh, since I was about 14. Mm, it's a pretty long time. <laughs> a man of your age should retire. That's the dream of every seafaring man. A home and a garden. I got a place all picked out. Maybe I could make that possible. Are you interested? Well, maybe. I came aboard with a pretty big stake. Ten thousand dollars is yours if you help us. Oh, no, no. I don't want... Come now, come on. Let me go. Wait a minute, let me go. Come on, you, you can't do that to me. I think we can. Let me go. But oh, no. Wait, let me go. There 
There goes another one. Probably killed him like they did Ezra. Maybe I'll be next. Well, how can I help you? Take over this boat. Do you know how to swim, Ritter? Yeah, a little why. Well, you're due for a good long one if you don't get out of here quick. Okay, baby. You're not going to get me. He don't want you. Open the door. This is only. Yeah, how did you do that? Hey, yours come to clean up. Uh, shaving, huh? Yes, yes. Uh, you said you would do me a favor sometime. How would you like to give me a shave? Give you a shave? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Can't be tickled to death to give you a shave. Well, thank you, Harry. There. That's an unlooked for pleasure. Yeah, fix it. Yeah, yeah, sure, I do it. Yeah, it's an odd one. Uh huh. And uh, if you don't mind, he would like a close shave. Uh, don't worry, it's going to be plenty close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, you are a good feller, by Yingo. Someday I can do you a favor. Uh -huh. yeah. You bet your life, let's call her. <laughs> Ain't never seen so many funny people as we got on this boat, Har. Yeah? Yeah, and you are the funniest. <laughs> oh, my you go. That's so. Oh, yeah, here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Take a look and see what my public thinks about me. Yeah, oh, sure. Hey. There is it, my name. Oh, there it is. Well, that's a good photograph of you, Mr. Harry. Yeah, but it don't do me no justice. What does it say, Harry? Read it. Yeah. Harry the Carver, yes, the fifth victim. <laughs> Hey, up Better make them tight. He'll sleep for several hours. Turned in. Would you like to take a walk around there? Oh, I'd love it.
You'll be all right. That man, he... Yes, he was stronger than I thought. Tell me, you must get hold of yourself. <laughs> Dirk. Paul. Take him to the ward. face a wild bull the next time. <laughs> We're progressing. Did you give him a pill? Yes, doctor. Sleep's all he needs. He won't have any after effects. Is the girl in my study? Yes, she is. She'll recover. Nervous shock. She became hysterical. She's comfortable now. One thing more, Paul. Have you been around the ship? Yes, sir. Briggs and myself. They're all sleeping. Good. Well, we can't go on with our experiments. It's no use. The doctor, I thought that... I'll qualify that. To go on, I must change my procedure. How's that, doctor? As you know, I've obtained in this, synthetically, the active ingredients of the endocrine glands governing criminality. Synthetically? That's just the trouble. Krantz proved it. I've been trying to duplicate nature's work in the test tube. It just can't be done. There must be some answer to it, Doctor. There is. I must let nature do this work for me in the body of a normal person, like you. Or Paul. That's, that's dangerous, isn't it, Doctor? It's a chance one must take. Wait. He's not going to put that stuff in me. Nor me. Dirk and Hall, come here. Did you hear what I said? Hurry! Take him in there. I know what you're thinking. Bob's my nephew. I've sacrificed everything to prove my theory. Bob is free from criminal taint. A perfect subject.
What happened? You all right, Doctor? Bob's loose. He's taking Joan. Hurry. Bob, open up. Open up, Bob. You hear me? Bob, open the door. and me just to amuse yourself. Ritter was right. We're a bunch of guinea pigs. You're not going to touch me again. You have Bob in here. Go away, my dear. I'm very busy. But I know you have him in here. Haven't you talked to him enough? Thank you. 
Jones. Is there something wrong, Miss Jones? Only have you a gun? Have I got a gun? Every bot is asking me the same thing. Have I got a gun? Well, have you? If a gun was even two feet in front of me, it would run like hail Columbia. Ah. The angle, I think, everybody is getting crazy on this boat, Harry. And do you know about that Harry feller, Miss Young? They thought he was a good feller. Well, one day, he said he would give me a shave, and they let him. Ah, Yendo, you know who that fella is? That fella... Everybody is crazy. where you got hold of Mary's revolver? Police bar, Doctor. Take her to my study. Let me go! 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 Bob, I'm inclined to think that girl's in love with you. Not interested? Well, that is saying, with this treatment, you'll find it a bit difficult to coordinate thought and action. Probably won't be able to recognize people for some time. I'm a citizen. I stand by the Constitution. You can't keep it like that. I demand my bill of rights. Should you guys tell us where that gun is hidden, you'll stay locked up. This is too much. I have to the grid. Open the door. Mm. You wait. What do you want me? What were your parents' ages when you were born? Oh, what's this all about? I'm preparing your case history, my dear, before we... Before you kill me? No, my... Yes, Briggs. We've gone through every stateroom again, sir. The men are raising quite a fuss. And they'll stay locked up until that gun is found. They'll have no food. Is it all right, doctor, for the captain to be walking around? Yes, he's all right. Is it all, sir? Yes. See that your men are armed. We must be prepared for any emergency. Yes, sir. Now, my dear, shall we continue? You're going through with it? Well, of course. Doctor, could you come to the ward? The young lady's a little nervous. <laughs> She's quite normal. That's why I sent for you, Doctor. A good indication. Very fine. These two girls, Mary and Joan, will prove or disprove my theory. If it fails... We mustn't think of that, Doctor. We must think of everything. If this test fails us, we're lost. I don't understand. We'll have to turn back. Keep a constant watching. Dirk? You go with Paul, I'll call you. Yes, Doctor. Well, my dear, we're almost ready for you. There, there. Bob! Bob. Bob, don't you recognize me? Bob! Bob, darling, don't you know me? You've done to him. There's no cause for alarm. He'll recover. Bob! Bob, dear. He won't recognize people for some time. How, how could you? 
Your own nephew. Doug? This is no place for you, sir. Perhaps if you went below for a little while, maybe took a little rest. It's Bob. I must see you. I feel so... I can't be disturbed, Bob. Go lie down. You'll be all right. Something... Something's happened to me. I, I must see you. Do you think he's giving her too heavy a solution? I must see you for a moment now. I must, I tell you. I'll see you in an hour. I must... Please. Please. They are all just a bunch of criminals and they're just a fellow that can do it. And I also want you to know that Holy is a brave man by Yango. Just put up your hand. They do Where'd you get this? Yeah, that Captain... I Never mind that. Have you got a pass key to all the state rooms? Yeah, sure. Well, give it to me quick. Yeah, but Cap, give it to me. Yeah, sure. Hurry up there. I got the key. Well, come on, give it to me, will you? Get the key. And you better get under a cover because there's going to be trouble. Yeah, I scared her. I'm just going to the cover. Come on, Ritter. Oh, no. No, sir. You're not going to give me another shot. Come on, I'm setting you free. What? Help me take over the ship. You want another one? Certainly I am. All right, you've watched yourself a man. They're in the operating room armed. We gotta get guns from Briggs and the other sailors first. So be it by me. One provision. No harm to the doctor. I land you and the others wherever you stay. Sure, sure. Maybe let me out. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Now separate, fellas. Try to get up there without being seen. Yeah, and what if they start shooting? What are we gonna do? That's your tough luck.
taking over the boat, Briggs. As long as you obey orders, you're safe. You understand? Come here. Call the doctor. Tell him the men are loose. You need his help. Quick. You ready? Dirk? Yes? Doctor! The men are loose. I need your help. Can't you hold them? I need your help. Hello. Hello. All right, let's go. Jesse, you stay here. Dirk. Paul. Oh, the men are loose. Get the guns. Now remember, no shooting. You know me, Cap. I gave each of you was only temporary. Unless you have another one immediately, you are due to experience a complete paralysis of heart action. Remember what happened to the unfortunate Ezra. The doctor is alive. This is not so funny, maybe. Yeah, he's alive. Ah, he's only trying to fool us. <laughs> That's it. Just trying to fool us. I thought I plugged him good. I'll give him an injection. Of lead. So the doc ain't dead. You know, I got a sort of a pain right here. Oh, shut up. You ate too much. Have it your way. I'm only giving you fair warning. Uh. By now, you are experiencing slight pains near the heart. They will become more acute within a few minutes. I didn't think you looked so good today, Jesse. Yeah, you just stop something. You'll see how good I look. Again, I say, it's up to you if you want to live. <laughs> Follow me. And be sensible, men. Why die like rats when there's all of life ahead of you? Oh, do you think it'll work? It's a chance. I hope they didn't recognize my voice. Anything I can do? I'm afraid not. I've done everything possible. Joan. I want to talk to you, Joan. Yes, Mary. It's hard to explain, but something has come over me. I don't know, but a short time ago I hated you. Now I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Joan. Of course, Mary. You know, it's funny, but I want to give myself up now. Dirk. Dirk. The 
Miss Lefton. I heard her. She'll live to prove that I was right. They'll heap honors on you now, Doctor. I feel as if I had been born again. Doctor! Get more wine. That is the last there is. Get more wine or I'll cut your ears off. Yes, but Mr. More wine, I said. Yes, sir. What I need is a good step drink. Well, it might help. Temporarily. We'll go down. Come on, let's get going. Not so fast. Just a minute there. What? Give me that wine. Yeah, but Mr. Harry the Carver, he, he said he would. Great stuff. Get me more. That's all there is. Uh, uh, yours found that hiding in Miss Mary's luggage. Poison Mary's. Get moving. For goodness sake, this can have my ears cut off. What's the idea? Well, you guys having a good time, ain't you? Thought I told you to stay on the bridge. Maybe I got a little tired. May I remind you men, your time is almost up. You only have a few minutes more. Again, I say, it's up to you, if you want to live. At least they still think it's the doctor. Maybe if I went out there, I could talk with you. No, no, Joe. How's Mary? Sleeping. I think that all that Dr. Stander accomplished must die with him. There's still a chance, Derek. You'll be carrying on his work. Hey, sir. What is it, Ritter? You'll come in. Come in one at a time with your hands up. Turning the, uh, the guinea pigs back to the authorities. And after that... Oh! Hey! Where are you going? Hey, Tank can go home. <laughs> you think you can make it? 